What up, what up? Wimbush here. And I'm gonna show you how to composite our clouds that we rendered out of Cinema 4D and After Effects. Now this is part three of the series. So if you're just joining in now, make sure you look in the description, start at part one, where I show you guys how to make the clouds using X particles and Explosia. And then in part two, we brought it into Redshift where we're at now, when we render it out, we're gonna bring it into After Effects. So I'm starting with a blank slate here. Let's hit Control I and I'm gonna import the clouds that we rendered out of Cinema 4D. Now I'm just gonna bring our simulation down here. And as you can see from the frames that we have rendered out before, you can see we get a bunch of different shapes. So it's kind of up to you what shape you wanna pick. Let's say, I think the clouds look good at around seven frames. And so, and also I rendered it out at, um, 2048 by 1556 just to make it a little bit larger give me some room to work with but now i'm going to right click in my timeline hit new go to solid and i'm just going to make a solid background that we can use to simulate our sky but we don't want it to be just flat like this so i'm going to go over to my effects and presets hit ramp and that's going to give us a gradient ramp and now for my top, my start color, I'm just gonna color pick the blue that I made. And then for the end color, let's color pick the blue again, but let's make it a little bit on the whiter side. And that's gonna give us a nice gradient going up to our cloud. So now to make this look a little bit more white in these gray and black areas, we come back to our effects and presets I'm going to type in try for tritone, bring this over. And as you can see by default, it makes our cloud brown. And I'm just going to color pick some blue area in here, make it a little bit more bluer. Um, let's drag this over to the white a little bit. There you go. That's a good spot. And then for our highlights, I'm going to leave that white. And for my shadows, I'm going to click on the blue. But I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. Let's say around this area. And then for our blend with original, I'm going to just drag this over a little bit. Just so we bring our original color back in a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go back to my fix and presets. And I'm going to type in light because I want to get a light wrap. So I'm going to bring in my light wrap now. And then I'm going to choose my background here. And let me turn this on and off so you guys can see what it did. Now, if I turn it off, you see we have our, our fluff around the edges. If I turn it back on, it's starting to bring in some of the outside or it's starting to bring in some of the background. So I'm going to um, just blur it a little bit more, maybe up to 20, make my width a little bit wider. And then I'm going to also blend with the original because we don't want it to be overpowering. We just want to add a little bit of the background around the edges, like so. And then we can also add the levels in here if we want. Let's bring the levels all the way up to the top. And as if I start to crunch it down, it starts to get a little bit of noise in there. So let's move it the opposite direction. It's not looking bad in there. Let's maybe um, add a little bit of blur. So if I come down, maybe let's do uh, let's do a fast blur. So let's do a fast box blur. Bump it up maybe like two. There you go. We soften it a little bit more. And then if you want to add like a sun or something, right click in our timeline adjustment layer. I'm going to click enter, just rename this sun. And then um, I typed in flare. I have optical flares, but if you don't have optical flares, you can use a normal flare that comes in after effects. So for example, I'll just use that. Brighten it up a tad bit. See what this other one looks like. There we go. 
So yeah, that's not looking too bad there. Then as you can see, so we built the clouds just as our basis, and then our compositing program, you kind of mess around with the cloud to find something to your liking. Now, if I want to soften the edges a little bit more, I have an edge blur. So if I look for edge under composite wizard, go to edge blur and easy. Let's see, bring it up. And it's starting to soften it too much. So yeah, I gotta turn that off. We don't need that. But yeah, so that's basic compositing in um, After Effects with our cloud. And if we scroll through, you can actually pick whatever, you know, whatever frame that you want in here. And you can mix and match and move them across the field. That doesn't look too good there. So it looks better in the beginning stages. And then again, when you're in Cinema 4D, you know, mix it up a little bit, make several clouds to expand over your area. You don't want to use just the same shape. So I hope that was a good starting ground for you guys. I hope that helped out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said, go to my Gumroad in the description below. Download some of the project files. It'll be a good starting point for you guys to play around with. And as always, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you liked it. And um, yeah, be sure to check back for another series that I make here on YouTube. So until next time, keep creating.